Sukhaya Textiles PLC engages in the development, manufacture and marketing of yarns. Its products include cotton yarn, polyester, synthetic yarn, woolen yarn and blended yarn mixed of cotton and polyester. Sukhaya Textiles PLC owns 6 units of spinning mills and a twisting mill. Its activities and operations are related with manufacturing and marketing of yarns. Its registered office is in Mohari Dhaka, factory office in Kashimpur, Gajipur, and Olipur, Hobigonj, Silet. Factory office of Square Texcom Limited is in Bhaluka, Maimanshing, Kathali. Assalamu alaikum, hello and welcome back to my channel MRF Thayar to this company Square Text, Square Textiles PLC, sector industry, textile and consumer durables, income statement analysis. Turnover in 2017 was 776 crore BDT. 2018 941 later 1056 1035 1329 crore 1743 crore bdt in 2022 revenue growth rate 31 percent gross profit margin 17 percent operating profit margin 15 percent Financial expense, tax, and net income was 196 crore BDT, margin 11.2. EPS was 9.93. They paid dividend, and company's historical share price 65 in 2017, later 50, 44, 29, 42, and 66 last year. Let's forecast. I'm giving revenue growth rate 19% in 2023. And this will ultimately hit GDP growth rate in 2027. Gross profit margin kept at 11%. Operating profit margin was given 10% in 2023 and later 8%. So, with this, my net profit margin becomes 4.5% and estimated EPS 4.70. Subsequent years 5.1, 5.87, 6.56, and 6.88 in 2027 as per my estimation and prediction. Income statement of Square Textiles PLC Balance Sheet Total Asset 1000 crore in 2017, later 1100, 1300, 14, almost 1500, 1600, and 1628 crore BDT in 2022. Current 818, non current 810. Long term debt only 30 crore in 2022. Uh, short term debt 584 crore BDT in 2022. Okay. Retained earnings 722 crore. Okay. 722 crore. Net asset value 41, 39, 38, 36, 38, and 46. Total debt 614. Capex was done. Major capex 173 crore. Okay. That's my project. My projection. Net asset value will reach 51, 55, 61, 67, and 73, 9 in 
cash flow twenty three crore in two thousand seventeen later five minus sixty seven minus three in COVID time one hundred twenty five crore and three hundred twenty one crore in two thousand twenty two and also APS 16.3 in 2022 okay ratio current ratio 1.27 quick 0.89 inventory turnover receivable turnover payable turnover and with that Cash conversion cycle 150 days. Okay. Improved. Debt equity ratio 68%. Earning margin 11.2%. ROA 12. ROE 21.3%. Internal growth rate 10%. Sustainable growth rate 20.5 percent. Wow. ROCE 26.0 percent. Good. Money paid bonus and cash in last six years. P ratio 28 in 2017. Later 20 2107. 12 107 in COVID time 12.4 and 6.7 okay vertical analysis if company sells is 100 tracker cost of goods sold is 83 tracker gross profit 17 tracker selling general and administrative expense 2 tracker operating profit 15 financial expense Expense 1, earning before tax 13, bottom line net income 11, top line 100, bottom line 11. Excellent. It was, it was 5 in last year. Okay. Capex schedule. I like this. And estimation depreciation was 34 crore BDT 41 50 57 66 and 69 crore BDT in 2022 debt schedule like this working capital schedule and estimation uh, cash conversion cycle 150 days so companies inventory became efficient sales efficient and DPO six days okay let's check work with the average cost of capital is calculated as 6.9 and equity 60% debt 40% market cap 1331 crore BDT free float 38% and promoters hold 62% and with that 6.9% weighted average cost of capital and growth rate of 2% company's intrinsic value is via DCF approach is 76.1 telling me I can buy it is price 67.5 which is floor price and companies this value is obtained from enterprise value and which is obtained via this free cash flow historical estimates free cash flow estimates and terminal growth rate 2% sensitivity table is shown here I think this four numbers are important however let's check more DCF uh, 
DCF via CFO method. This is pricing absurdly. Liquidation approach 615. However, dividend discount model. This is pricing as I'm expecting 70% dividend in 2027 and in between dividends which are expected. Intrinsic value is this 59. Relative valuation latest annualized EPS 5.52 and with that fair price is calculated as 98 telling me I can buy latest NAV 47.3 which is pricing as 51 telling me not to buy if we buy EBITDA this is pricing as 167 telling me I can buy and if we buy sales this is pricing as 158 Telling me I can buy. Okay. By the HM score, uh, company's account is clean as per five variable at variable model, no manipulation. Piotros KF score, profitability. Company is a strong company, strong company for last two years, excellent and open z score bankruptcy checking company is in safe zone no chance of bankruptcy in the near future so this is the football fee analysis uh, current price is 67.5 shown in red dotted line and all the valuations and pricing are shown in this graph look for yourself with five year higher low so this concludes the financial modeling and valuation of Square Textiles PLC. Hope we have gathered some insight about the company. Thanks for watching and happy analyzing. Ta-da!